Hello friends, this is Suresh, SME in Automotive Dye Engineering. Today's session is Basics of Draw Dye. So what is Draw? Draw is the ability of stretching and forming material using holding pressure. This is done using a ring or pads. The draw ring or pads have specific amount of pressure that is controlled by uh, hydraulic or air cushion or nitrogen cylinder or urethane depending on the press and die design. So draw is nothing but stretching the flat sheet and bringing to a shape with the application of external pressure. Draw die is basically divided into three types. One is conventional toggle draw and second is inverted toggle draw and third is redraw. If you go to conventional toggle draw here we use our punch and stripper in the top die and cavity at the bottom die mostly this design nowadays used in small components and progressive dies where we uh, produce in the class B class C parts an inverted toggle draw which is uh, mostly used nowadays in a single action and here cavity at the top die punch and blank holder at the bottom die for ejection the top die has ejector pin mechanism and third one is redraw when we our draw ratio not able to complete within single draw then we go for redraw and this is a simple draw force calculation uh, the drawing force is the product of coefficient into pi into drawing diameter into thickness into tensile strength for coefficient we have to use uh, the thumb rule of first draw 50% second draw 30% and third draw 20% to identify the draw ratio we can use the formula diameter of the blank divided by diameter of the cup Hence this is a simple draw we can calculate for small small components when we are going for the bigger part nowadays we have softwares to calculate the draw force and we can do the simulation. To get the successful uh, draw and deep draw uh, design there are many factors are there when we ignore any one of them the, uh, the die prove out becomes very very difficult regardless of many factors involved the most important element to a successful deep drying operation is initiating metal flow the following are the effect elements affecting metal flow and each uh, each of them should be considered when designing building or troubleshooting draw and deep draw stamping dies so total 15 major points has been captured here which we have to be uh, sure of while designing number one material type whether it is CR sheet HR sheet is it coated or uncoated number two material thickness number three yield strength n value and r value number three number four blank size and shape number five part geometry number six press speed that is strokes per minute SPM number seven draw radii draw radii is a significant role when we, we form the components so I have given the table with respect to material thickness what should be the minimum radius so refer the table which is given in the presentation and next draw ratio as I told the thumb rule is the first draw 50%, second draw 30% and third draw 20%. However, it can vary. So, the micro level tabular column is given for each of the thickness and what should be the uh, allowable percentage of first draw, second draw, third draw. And ninth is die surface, 10 die temperature, 11 lubricant, 12 draw bead height and shape 
thirteen binder pressure, fourteen binder deflection, and the last one standoff height, which is balancer block height. So let's go for the quick recap. Uh, drawing, drawing is the ability of stretching and forming material using holding pressure. Types of driving: conventional toggle draw, inverted toggle draw, and redraw. What is the major challenge in drawing? Achieving the split and wrinkle-free panel. How many key factors for successful draw? There are 15 points. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. and if you like this video please click the like button and comment and subscribe thank you